Okay. What else was up here? Anything interesting? Anything else interesting in here? Guess not. So, storage room. Is this... was I in here? I think I was. This is where I was after I came through the, the vent and everything, right? Oh yeah, in this storage room I dragged a body in here already. Okay, cool. Went over on time. So this will be a new video here. Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last video would have had no outro. Oops. Every once in a while I do that because I forget to look at the time. Is this a, uh, oh, there's a uh, guy in here needing to be taken out, dealt with. Another storage room. Cool. More ammo. Oh, what was that? One damage upgrade. Whatever it was, it was awesome. We'll check it out here. Okay, let's see. Here it is. Shot clock damage upgrade kit for weapons. Use increases the weapon's damage. Description. The shot clock damage upgrade kit improves the standard weapon barrel and receiver assembly of a handgun, rifle, or firearm to provide an increase in muzzle velocity and delivered damage to target. Cool. So I can combine that with like one of my one of my weapons to um, make it do more damage. Neat. Super almost out of inventory. Pretty soon I'll have to start like not picking stuff up or um, dropping stuff I've already picked up. Alright, so that's the two storage rooms. So I think the only other way I can go over here. Right? They were shooting earlier, breaking this thing. I don't know why. Anything else? Anything up above going on? Guess not, really. Ah, an elevator. Okay. Warning, restricted area, server room. So this is the new level. Tutorial available, augmentations, okay. In order to unlock new abilities or augmentations, you must first gain experience in the form of XP points. You will receive these points when completing main objectives, side quests, or through special bonuses like completing a mission without being detected. Once you've accumulated enough XP points, you will receive a Praxis point. 
These points are used to unlock upgrades to existing augmentations, and to unlock entirely new augmentations. Praxis kits, which can be found through exploration or purchased in limb clinics, will also give you instant Praxis points. Hmm, okay. To unlock an augmentation or upgrade, simply select it in the augmentation screen, check the cost, and, if you have enough Praxis points, activate it. Cool, and there's a Praxis pit, a Praxis kit right there. Hence the reason it just gave me this tutorial. Praxis kit. So that's like the best possible kind of loot imaginable ever. So I have one point. I think most of the stuff I would really want is going to cost more. It's going to cost two just to start on the leg stuff. It's going to cost two to start on cloaking. And it's going to cost to get Icarus landing. Um, see through walls. Two. Two to start on stealth enhancer. Same with social enhancer. So in other words, I can't actually get really anything yet or of the stuff that I particularly want. It's a camera. deal with that camera. There's a box in front of a vent. Oh, advanced hacking. Okay. Some of the obstacles that can be circumvented by hacking include turrets, cameras, and robots. All you need to do is find a security hub controlling these obstacles and hack it. Capture and Fortify programs are your main hacking tools. You can upgrade their ratings via hacking augmentations. Okay. A node's rating affects the speed at which the network can process it. Therefore, higher rated nodes will slow the network down. You can slow it down further by fortifying nodes which will increase their effective rating. You can also use a slow worm to stop the trace process entirely for a few seconds. That's handy. Finally, to prevent detection when taking over nodes, you can use the Nuke virus, which gives you a 0% detection chance. Awesome. The Nuke and Stop programs are expendable viruses. Their supplies are limited, so use them wisely. A counter in the top right corner of the screen helps you keep track of them. When hacking, there are three types of nodes to capture. Directories are meaningless data holders. They serve no purpose other than to allow you to travel to your destination. APIs are system functions that can be used against the network. They can slow it down by spamming it, or they can lower node ratings to make them easier for you to capture. Data stores contain hmm. valuable information that can result in money, programs, or even experience points. Any reward you find on the system will only be yours if you succeed in hacking it. Otherwise, rewards cannot be downloaded and will remain on the system. Aside from cameras and doors, you will not be able to shut down any security device until you get the right augmentation upgrade. Alright. Interesting. Cool. Well, I see how that works now. Alright, so there's a camera right there. Hopefully it doesn't see me. What the hell? Is it a turret? Is that what started shooting me? Some kind of turret? Well, let's open this up. Sneak through here. Maybe we can find a way to shut that stuff off via hacking. Hmm. 
Looks like I'm behind the turret. But the camera's still something I need to worry about. Actually, I guess the camera doesn't, uh... So I can't do anything with this. If I was stronger, I guess I could pick it up and move it. Not sure what I'm doing. So I guess... I'll check out this door. Oh, there's a bad guy. In there. Server rooms. Creeping around here carefully, slowly. I can't get through there, can I? No. I might be able to get over that by stacking stuff, but... Let's just... Caution, X-ray in use, laser area, high voltage. Whoa. Cutscene, I guess. Step away from the console. Now! Look at him. He's all messed up. It's like he's not in control. He's putting his gun to his own head? Oh no. He's being forced to do this somehow. Son of a bitch. Wow. He just shot himself in the head. Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub. In case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sam? Huh. SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Well, confront Zeke Sanders, rescue Josie Thorpe. That was uh, that was crazy. So, so I think something was controlling his mind. Like inventory's full. He's got some stuff on him. Okay, I need to um, figure out what I'm doing in here. But... So, let's see this first of all. Finished quests. Typhoon, I got it I guess. Neutralize the terrorist leader. Primary objectives. Confront Zeke Sanders. The prototype is secure, but now I want answers. Zeke Sanders, the leader of these terrorists, has to be in the administration building. I need to find him and confront him. Secondary objective, rescue Josie Thorpe. The plant manager, Josie Thorpe, has been taken hostage by the terrorist leader. Her husband, Greg, has asked me to save her. Uh, and here I have, you know, a bunch of junk here in my inventory. So... Interesting. Well, that's actually all the time I have for this video, though. So, thank you for watching. Ugh. Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.